Hey, 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 it's me, Meatbag McMurk, a Pirate Party candidate for Governor of Utah, and today I want to talk about my new proposal, which is to apportion Electoral College votes. I know the Electoral College here in Utah is terribly one-sided. Uh, I propose that we change our electoral voting system. Uh, now, we here in Utah get uh, six Electoral College votes because it is based, the, elect the number of Electoral votes is based on the number of representatives and the number of senators, add them together, and that's how many electoral votes we have. So we have four representatives because we have four districts here in Utah, at least in the, uh, the, in the United States House of Representatives, and we have two senators, so we have a total of six electoral votes. I propose that we change our electoral voting system instead of uh, apportioning all of the electoral votes as uh, the party that wins overall, I propose that we take the two senators and have those be the, because the senators represent Utah as a whole, they will be apportioned, or their, their number in the electoral votes will be apportioned by Utah overall. And then each of the four individual uh, districts in the House those will be apportioned by how the individual districts voted. So if you have District 1 that votes Democrat, right, and the remaining three vote Republican, you will have one electoral vote for Democrats, you will have three electoral votes for Republicans, and you will have the two based on how the state voted overall. So you would have, if the, if the state, let's say, voted Republican overall, you would have five, one, two, three, four, five Republican Republicans in the Electoral College based on how the Republican Party of Utah chooses to apportion them. And you would have the one, the one Democrat, the one Democratic uh, a district that voted Democrat, they would get one electoral vote. That way it is not a six and nothing all the time. Uh, now if all of the individual uh, uh, districts choose to vote Republican, and that's how they vote, then yes, it will be a six and nothing. But I feel like that a lot of people are choose not to not to vote, primarily because they feel like, like they have no, no chance here in Utah. Uh, I'm not talking about Democrat, Republican, I'm just talking about politics in general. Uh, is that people choose not to vote, primarily because they feel that their vote would be wasted, in, in a presidential election, and, I've, and I've, I've experienced that myself. I did not vote in 2016, um, primarily because I knew that the Republicans were going to win. I, de I definitely preferred Trump over Hillary, but, uh, and, and I did not like Gary Johnson, did not like Jill Stein. Uh, I would consider myself a libertarian by nature, and Gary Johnson is not a libertarian. But I chose not to vote, primarily because I knew that Donald Trump was going to win. They did have Evan McMullen, but who gives a fuck about Evan McMullen, a fucking CIA operative? Uh, <laughs> Going to try to spoil the election by getting, by getting fucking 2% of the vote. So I feel that this is actually a good thing because it would increase voter turnout. It would make people feel more empowered to, yeah, they may not get all six electoral votes, but they might be able to get the one electoral vote in the district that, that, uh, that they actually agree with. So this has been Meatbag McMurk, a Pirate Party candidate for governor in Utah. Like, share, subscribe, click the little bell thing that's down below, and, and if you want to comment, if you disagree with me, um, I'm willing to have a debate. We can uh, discuss things, and I'm willing to even have live streams with anybody, anybody who wants to do a live stream and a debate. This has been Meatbag McMurk. Give me all your money. Thank you.